Hey, my youth, you know where you watch. Respect to each and everyone, dancer and skiller here again. Yeah, my people. So, let me start out by presenting to you pieces of videos that shows a person who had been caught on camera doing what is called shoplifting. Yeah, these pieces of videos shows when a person removed certain things from shells inside of a business place. Some people might say supermarket, some people might say food store, some people might just say store. And I got the understanding that uh, these videos are being talked about on social media, not only because of what the person had done by removing those things from off those shelves, but where the person put them things there. You see me? I say, yeah, it seems as if the person put certain things in a part of a clothes that the person was wearing. And if the person had been confronted and so on, you know, I only hope none of them things they not go back on the shelf. You see me? Look at these pieces of videos and tell me what I think. Oh, I did not get any confirmed information as to exactly where these videos are being recorded, but they are being talked about on social media. Viewer discretion is advised before these pieces of videos. Observe with me. All right, so take a look at this person right here, my people. Yes, see it, look, Wagwan. Notice the person remove certain things there, so you know. Um, um so where them they go? Where where that go? You know, what we're what, what me have an idea, me kinda see what one. Mm hmm All right. You know, I don't judge me, I judge you know, but you can't really judge a book by the cover, you know, because you look at a person and say, oh, what an innocent person, but you know, you may never know. Watch her again, maybe, watch her. Uh. So, if yes, we're not talking about people, where the person put them things there, eh? yeah, um, it's set away, you see? Yeah, so that is one, well, I'm not the one. Those pieces of videos are being talked about on social media. Yeah, my people. Take a look at this video right now, my people. See, because this video shows one of the most dangerous things I've seen. You understand me? Now, take a look at this video that shows. Quite a number of blocks on top of a roof. See, and look at the type of roof. Look at the way all those blocks had been placed on that roof in groups. You see me? Look at what I'm talking about. No. That dangerous. That highly dangerous. Look on the type of roof. Eh? What type of roof is that, the people? You see the type of roof I'm talking about? So, to be putting blocks on top of a roof like that, especially in those ways, I go say, that are more danger than anything. Man, you know what? Um, I don't try to be too, I don't go and like semi-perfect or anything. You see me I say, but look on the type of roof and look how those blocks have been placed on top of that, on top of that roof. Eh? That's dangerous. No one should never do anything like that. Let me know what you think about that video. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. What would you do if you found something like this in your food before or even during when you're eating the food? What would you do? Hmm? Well, the people, me know what me that do, you know? Me like, well, uh, well, uh, if I buy the buy the food, anyone buy it from me, I go make a very, very hard complaint. Yeah, man, me I make sure 
make a complaint. You see me, I say, and of course, me no want to see that the food, me no want to know when you me that that. See? Now, my people, why you listen to what a person said in this video? And take a look at this. You know, would I like to tell me what you think that thing is? Even though I don't know, I'm not able to confirm when me see right there, so you know, me somewhat assume as to what me say, but in the video, me hear a person say certain words that make me assume that the person said cockroach. But look at this for yourself and viewer discretion is advised for this video. Observe with my people. Where's Melides? There's a cockroach in my food tread. Well, yeah, there's a cockroach in my food, little boy. In food time, you know. What the? Now, even though the person says certain words, you know, you see me, still I look on that thing and I wonder if it look like something else. You understand me, people? So, that's why I ask you, what do you think that thing look like? You understand? Me, yeah, man. I mean, if me I eat food, I me see where certain, something like that dropping on my food. My good... Camera trick. See? Yeah, man, my good lady. Me no know what me that do, but me I tell you, me no want that nowhere near me. See? All right. Being as well with the topic of food, my people. Take a look at this next video that I'm about to present to you, my viewers and subscribers. Yeah, this next video shows uh, what seems to be some type of a meat. Yes, I mean, I say, but in my point of view, that meat doesn't look like it cooked properly. See, I listen to some words that a person say in the video as well. Tell me what you think. Viewer discretion is advised for this video. Observe. So, what today is? Um, so, today is the 7th, you know, the 7th, right? Martin Devo Martin. A battery of the chicken. No strategy chicken. Look. Look. But then. But then. Look at this. And seventeen dollars. And chicken even cooked properly. I don't need this. properly in my point of view for real. That don't look like it cooked properly for real. Yeah, me agree. That don't look like it cooked properly. You have to be careful when you buy and eat out there, you know, my people. You have to be careful where you put inside of you. You see me? Yeah, me, 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 I tell you. Oh, yeah, so I hope that those videos that I presented to you can help bring some form of awareness for people because I'm not real. Uh, if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. But people, I read a news article about a video that I saw on social media. And what I read in the news article, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if the news article is accurate. You see me, I say, now the video that I saw on social media is an edited video, right? So it's basically more than one pieces of videos put together and posted on social media. Now, now, some words that I read in the news article said the transport authority says the driver who was shown in a viral video operating a motor vehicle while sitting in a passenger's lap in the driver's seat has been slapped with several charges following a successful investigation. Now, viewers and subscribers, I'm going to explain to you in my words, based on what I understand uh, some words that a person said in part of the edited video that I saw. Listen. Now, in the video that I saw, the person who is claimed to be the driver said some words that gave me the understanding that the person basically said his name and basically said that he's the driver in the viral video who was sitting in the passenger's lap and I think he basically said or somewhat admitted that it was careless and reckless act yes and that's my people the person said some more words that gave me the understanding that the person said that he may apologize to the nation and basically I try to make it be known that it is not a regular occurrence and that it will happen again along with other words as well my people yes when we look at the video I'm going to read the news article. I still a wonder what I watch and what I read. Yeah? Come and actually see a video post by social media, you know. And I say, but wait. I want to drive a motor vehicle. You see me? I say, I mean, I see the video. I say, who that drive a motor vehicle? But I just say, you know what? Um, 
Something that seems right about that. Well, me read a news article, and the news article attached to a video, basically about the video that I saw, and in the same video, which is an edited video, me see that a person basically put some form of public apology out there. Some people, what do you think about that situation there? If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Alright, so I have information to give to you about a sad situation with people and I think uh, there are a lot of people who might have some knowledge about certain information pertaining to this situation. And let me see if I can explain to you to the best of my knowledge. So I got information that the body of a man who believed to have been washed away by floodwaters in St. Andrew, Jamaica during the passage of Hurricane Burial had been found. Yeah, I got information that the body of a person had been found and it is believed that that person had been washed away by floodwaters during the passage of Hurricane Burial. According to information put out there, the person who died goes by the name of Alric Moncrief. Allegedly, and it is also believed that the person was playing football with friends and reportedly the person attempted to retrieve a ball that had fallen into a gully. It is believed that he had been washed away by floodwaters and a search had been launched to find the person. However, after a certain amount of time had passed, the viewers and subscribers, from the passage of the hurricane and so forth to now, I got information that the body of the person had been found on Thursday. I saw at least one piece of video on social media about the situation. It is said that the body was reportedly spotted in waters that is on the outskirt of Kingston or Petra John Kingston and so forth. So may I say? And uh, it is said that the body was towed by the marine police. And at some point, uh, the body had been identified by at least one family member. So that's really and truly a sad topic right there, some people. Well, I think here's where I'm going to leave it, you know. And um, big up and respect to each and every one. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button. And click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Until the next time, my name is Dan Saskilla. Big up. Hey, my you, you know where I watch? Dan Saskilla!